It's Miss Courtney, and today I'm going to read to you Ladybug Girl and the Rescue Dogs by David Silman and Jackie Davis. Wow, bingo, Lulu says as she flies around the farmer's market, pointing to colorful fruits and vegetables. It looks like a rainbow. Lulu and her mama are picking out peaches, but Lulu stops when she notices a big group of dogs under a banner. They walk over to the table and Lulu says, excuse me please, who do these dogs belong to? They're rescue dogs, replies the volunteer. We're here to help them get adopted into good forever homes. Lulu cannot believe these dogs have no homes. She stands up very tall and says, I will rescue you, I am Ladybug Girl. Can we bring the dogs home? She asks her mama. Oh, Lulu, I really wish we could, mama says, but we already have bingo and one dog is the right amount for our family. Lulu wonders how bingo would feel about having eight dogs crowded into their house. It might be a bit much. There's a picture of what it would be like to have that many dogs in their house. Bingo, what are we gonna do? I can't rescue all the dogs myself and Ladybug Girl is supposed to save the day. The volunteers from the shelter are busy caring for the dogs. That's when Lulu notices that one of the water bowls is almost empty. She realizes there is something Ladybug Girl can do to help. Running over to the volunteer, she asks, can I bring the dogs some water? Yes, please, says the busy woman handing her a pitcher. Lulu rushes back with the water and carefully pours it into the bowl. The dogs happily guzzle it up. As she turns to get more, Lulu almost walks right into her bug squad friends. What are you doing? asks Finny. I'm helping these dogs who need homes. Want to help? asks Lulu. Yes, answers Finny, definitely. Let's find out what we can do, says Sam. The woman from the shelter introduces them to the dogs. This is Pico. So Pico, Elvis, Carter, Otis, Sassafras, Daisy, Ruby, and Olive, she says. Each one needs to be brushed, played with, and given water and food. Oh yes, they also love treats. The bug squad listens carefully. Oh, their eyes are all watching her. They're looking and listening. They understand how important all the little things are in taking care of these dogs. This might be their most important mission ever. Bumblebee Boy fills Pico's bowl. Pico is a very messy drinker. He finds out that Elvis really loves his toy squid. While Sassafras just wants to be scratched and scratched and scratched. Grasshopper Girl plays with Daisy and Otis. Daisy is extra bouncy and can catch balls high in the air. Otis needs a little more practice. The ball bounced right off his head, whoopsie. She discovers that Carter will sit like a bunny, if it means getting more treats. Ladybug Girl sees that Ruby really loves being brushed. She keeps nudging closer and closer until she is sitting in Ladybug Girl's lap. And Olive just wants to rest on her pillow. These dogs are so fun to be with, says Finny. Why hasn't anyone come to adopt them? Maybe it's hard for people to see them over here, Sam says. Lucy, Lulu realizes Sam is right. Everyone is too far away from the dogs. She thinks for a moment and then she has an idea. What if we bring the dogs to them? She asks Finny and Sam. This is a job for Ladybug Girl and Grasshopper Girl and Bumblebee Boy. They share their plan and everyone quickly gets ready. Let the pet parade begin, yells the bug squad. The sign that they're carrying says, Ad adopt a dog. They walk the dogs through the farmer's market, carrying the banner high so everyone will know that the dogs need homes. People clap and cheer, and some even join in with their own pets. Bingo is in here with them too. 
The parade makes a circle around the market and ends back where it began in the shade of the trees. A family comes over. We're looking for a big dog, says the girl, but adds her sister, I want a dog that can sit in my lap. I know the perfect dog, says the ladybug girl. This is Ruby. Even though she's a big dog, she also likes to sit in laps. Before they know it, Ruby is sitting in both girls' laps. Do we have a dog? Asks their father. It looks like we do, says their mother, and she goes to arrange the adoption. We did it, Bumblebee Boy said. We found Ruby a home. Let's come back next week and rescue other dogs, says Grasshopper Girl. All our help really mattered, adds Ladybug Girl. The bug squad saved the day. And here she is back home with Bingo brushing his fur. And Ladybug Girl has several other titles too, several other books. Um, Ladybug Girl at the Beach, Ladybug Girl and the Big Snow, Ladybug Girl and the Best Playdate Ever. There's some really great titles. Thanks for being here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.